Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time to, it's time to kick it up a notch with a review. As you could probably hear, my voice is just a little bit better. I'm still having a little bit of laryngitis, so that's why I've been away. But I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. It's going to be about the Toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton. But first, my shirt is American, no, this is Aeropostale. If you guys remember that brand, I have on leopard leggings and Gucci slides. I love these slides. I am going to do a whole separate video on my designer shoe collection. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And without further ado, here is my toiletry 15. So we're going to start out with the appearance, I've got my notes, let's do this. All right, so the appearance of it is very beautiful. It's super cute. So it's not very wide right here. It fits into most bags, which I will get into in a second. It has this zipper. My camera doesn't like to focus. And this little tiny piece of vachetta leather that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. Mine's in Spain. I have noticed virtually zero wear and tear on this toiletry 15. I've been looking over it and I seriously cannot find any wear and tear. It's a little bit dirty because it's been in my bag. I use it every day. So the fact that I've been using it every day in my bag is really, it's, it speaks everything. <laughs> There's no wear and tear on this. I am very, very impressed by the quality of this. And this isn't that old. I can't remember exactly when I got it, but it was right before they discontinued it. It just zips up like this. And this does kind of go down a little bit. If you get an insert for it and you make it into a little mini bag, which is really cute by the way, um, it, it will stick up, I believe because there's a ring that goes through right here. But this is essentially what it looks like when it's closed. Sorry about my voice. I don't know what it's gonna take to get it back to normal because I also have allergies. So I got bronchitis combined with allergy season and it's just like death for me. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about what fits inside of this. Okay, what does this fit? Well, I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna start taking stuff out. I've got my Aquaphor, my Lip Glow by Dior, a mini perfume, my Chanel Compact Mirror. Love that. If you don't have one, I would highly suggest you get one. Glasses cleaning cloth, oil absorbing sheets, like a quick wipe, a couple of cards and like just samples, a tea, Get all this out, tweezers, because you never know when you're going to need tweezers or scissors. And then I just have some wrappers in here that I'm going to toss, <laughs> throw out a receipt from LA when we went to a burger place and two hair ties for my little girls or for me because I have long hair. And then a piece of paper, I don't know what that is, and a hairpin. So that's it, it's empty, put this down. It's empty, you can see that it is beautiful on the inside. There's some glitter, but no wear and tear. It's wipeable, it's just gorgeous. I have no complaints about this toiletry 15. This is the smallest size. Again, I think these are discontinued. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they brought them back yet again, but I have no complaints about this. And I have had it for probably close to a year, maybe like eight months. I have everything back inside of it. And now I'm going to show you what it fits into. So I have my two Prada bags right here. They're both the re-edition, one just in nylon and one is the glitter, crystal glitter. It's very glittery. So I'm just gonna show you that it easily fits into the Prada Re-Edition with much room to spare. See that? Perfect. It actually gives it some shape, which I love because 
This tends to lose shape. I will be doing a review on this bag as well as I've used it for quite a few months now and I absolutely love it. And now putting it into my other Prada bag. So there it is, it fits perfectly with room to spare. And again, the toiletry is filled, so it's not like it's fitting in here empty. And again, gives it shape, looks great. What else does this fit into? I have several, a variety of bags. So this is my YSL bum bag. Just opening it up, you can see it's fairly large, but I would not consider this the same size as the LV bum bag, but it fits really nicely in there. Again, it gives it a lot of shape. So it's almost like, it's almost like having a bag insert in a lot of ways because it has the same function. Personally, I believe it has a similar function, if not the same. The only thing different about a bag insert is that it keeps your bag clean. So that's really the only, that's the only difference I've noticed between the Toiletry 15 and a bag organizer. I will be purchasing some bag organizers and putting them inside of my bags. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that. This is a tricky one because you don't want to rip the canvas. This zipper is kind of sharp. It's not really a con of the bag because I know that a lot of the Alma babies are like that. I prefer not sharp zippers. I actually prefer plastic zippers. I know that sounds stupid, but I really like the way the plastic zippers treat your items on the inside. The Toiletry 15 fitting into my Alma BB, and you can see there's so much space left. This bag doesn't need any shape added, but it is the perfect way to organize the inside contents without, you know, having a bag organizer. If you don't like bag organizers, which I'm not opposed to, but sometimes you just don't really wanna have a bag organizer because you wanna see the inside lining of the bag and you're like, oh, this is so pretty and you wanna enjoy it. So if you're like me and you really wanna enjoy the inside of your bag without seeing a bag organizer, then a Toiletry 15 is perfect for you. Obviously this fits into my Neverfull and to my Speedy. I'm just putting it into other bags that you may not think that it would fit this. So now I'm gonna put it into my diesel bag. This is just like a hobo, a hobo shoulder bag. And again, it just organizes everything on the inside. I really like the way that you can just easily access all of your makeup if you put it inside of this. And I have one more bag to show you guys that this fits into. This is probably my favorite and it is a jumbo. I don't know about a regular size, like a smaller or medium size classic flap, but the jumbo in this were made for each other. So let me just get the stuffing out real quick. Let's get this, get this in here. You can see what I'm talking about. These were made for each other. The flap is like not wanting to work with me. So you can see there's a lot of room left. Let me try it this way. There we go. So much room left and it organizes the inside of the bag so that you don't have to go searching for things. Because even though this bag isn't a black hole, I would say that it's a little bit more difficult to get in and out of, which is one of the complaints that I have about Chanel in general, except for the soft fabric or denim bags. That's it for what it fits into. Now let's talk about the price and availability. So I don't think I paid over $500 for this and I bought it in the boutique so it was not pre-loved. It was brand new and I believe that I got this right before price increase and right before they discontinued it. So you can find these on the pre-loved market and they are not cheap. I would say they're probably about double the price. You might be able to find one that's pre-loved that's fairly used for a little bit less. I'm gonna put up some photos of just things that I found in general and <laughs> I would say that it's totally worth it if you can find something that's not, you know, $900, something that's a little bit less, or maybe somebody's selling something and you can find it on somebody's page or maybe on a YouTube channel, somebody will be selling something for what they paid for it. I would say try to wait it out, but don't wait too long. And occasionally you will be able to find this in a boutique. So just keep your eyes open, go around to the boutiques, ask about them, 
maybe don't ask about them, but get really good sales associates or client associates, client advisors, and see if they can find you one. Or maybe get a personal shopper. Just, you know, think about it. Play around with all those ideas and see if you can't find something without going the pre-loved route because these are really expensive if you go to a place like Fashion File. At the end of the day, is this Toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton worth it? Now that they are discontinued and they're difficult to find, and I would have to say 100% yes. These are worth it because of the quality, because of the way that it sits in your bag, how many things it fits into. I use it every day. I've definitely received my cost per wear already. It's very practical and you could use it as a mini bag if you got the insert and you put a chain on it. I think that this is just the cutest, most practical, addition to anyone's luxury collection or closet. Okay, everyone, that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like content like this and subscribe and comment if you have the Toiletry 15, comment your thoughts on what you think of it and what's your favorite part about your Toiletry 15 or any size for that matter. Let's start a conversation and let's help each other out and let everybody know what your favorite size is. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.